Uh, this is a video on our bike tour through the southern parts of Namibia. In October 2024, we started off with two bikes and a backup vehicle and we drove to Springbok, South Africa, where we started our tour. We entered Namibia through the Fjolstrof and Noord Uber border post. As soon as we got into Namibia, we got onto the gravel road. At Norochama River Resort, right next to the Orange River, we had our first beer before we started making our way up north. Our first night's stay was going to be at Eye Ice Hot Springs, where we had a peaceful night. The next day we headed up the C37 to go have a look at the Fisher Road Canyon, but heavy corrugated gravel roads caused the nuts and bolts for the battery to come loose. Nothing that can't be fixed with a few basic tools. After enjoying the magnificent Fish River Canyon, we made our way back south through the Ausenkur National Park. We turned west on the C13 on the gravel road that runs right next to the Orange River between South Africa and Namibia. After a quick water break next to the river, we continued in the direction of Roshpina and eventually we turned north to take the tar road to Aus where we stayed at Kleinaus Vista. We braced ourselves for a cold front moving through from the west and uh, the next morning we did some last minute repairs before heading to Luderitz. Beautiful Luderitz was windy as ever and we caught up with a backup vehicle and had a nice meal at the Portuguese fisherman restaurant. The next morning we had a cold plunge in the cold Atlantic Ocean before heading east. We did a guided tour through the historic town of Komanskopa and took a few pictures. I had a few loose bolts and nuts on my vehicle that we had to repair with a few cable ties while the Oryx was uh, sitting and looking at us. At least we got to see some wild horses from Aus before hitting the road again in the direction of Aus and turning up in the direction of Halmringshausen. For a bit of extra adventure we decided to turn left off the C13 onto the D707 and we encountered some thick sand, brown hyenas and the day was getting long, night was catching up with us but eventually we reached our camping site at the Kanan Desert Retreat where we set up camp and did some final repairs on our motor vehicles. Day five, it was time for my co-biker to turn back home. After saying our final goodbyes, it was time to pack up, shower and get moving because there was a desert storm moving in. steps on and to all the ghosts that everyone ignores to all the hands dragging the 
after a long and tricky ride through strong crosswinds, we reached our next destination, which is Seastream Campsite. We set up camp and had a nice cooling swim. The night was, however, very interesting. Sandstorm in Saucer's Flame. We didn't let that dampen our spirits and we got up early to go watch the sunrise on, from the top of Dune 45 on way to the Dwayfle. We returned early as temperatures started soaring from 9 o'clock in the morning reaching 36 degrees Celsius. We had a look at one of the oldest deserts in the world, the Namib Desert from an airplane. But I soon started missing my bike and the gravel roads again. Gravel roads towards Solitaire was tricky. We made sure we had our apple crumble before we continuing on the road. Unfortunately, I had a small fall on the C14, but luckily I could get up and press on in the direction of the Tropic of Capricorn and cross the beautiful Gau Pass before reaching Swakopmund. Swakopmund we checked out the local activities and we met up with our friends that was doing a bike trip the same circle route as we were from the other side Due to my fall we had a change of plans and I decided to stick to the tar road from here on going on. After a one night stop in Vintuk we continued south in Stamprit. We enjoyed the sunset from the historical at the Mobotique Hotel and had some nice local cuisine. The next day we continued south and went into Ketman's Whip for last minute shopping. Then we turned off the B1 towards the Mesosaurus fossil camp. Here the guide showed us some fossils that were discovered, as well as the quiver tree forest and the dolomite rocks. And entertained us with a song played on the dolomite rocks. We met with some local creatures and had a marshmallow bra before going to sleep. The next morning we said goodbye to this neat little camp and made our way south in the direction of I Ice once again for one last stop. After a last dip in the natural hot springs of I Ice, it was time to make our way back towards the South African border again and our way back home.
Thank you very much for watching. You don't need to like this video or share it. You just need to find your next adventure and follow it with everything inside of you. Cheers.